Hello everybody, Clive at 5 here bringing you GTA Vice City uh, fan request. Well, I was going to do it anyway, but I'll make it sound like you had the great idea for me to do this. So, oh yeah, let's Down watch this city. opening <laughs> yeah. cutscene. Didn't they they'd ever let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we going to do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town. Okay. We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vercetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. I wish I could pause and explain this. They're in Vice City. Hey, hey, guys. Back in it's, the uh, 80s. Tim Rosenberg here. Hey, 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 great, hey. Well, uh, yeah. I'm going to drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the fun. So the first time I watched this action, I, I, I didn't really get what was going on. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight. Let's go. Changing the cast for the stash. 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. Poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. All right. Now I gotta do stuff. I don't know if you also noticed who was uh, piloting the chopper. You might want to re rewind and uh, catch that. It'll make more sense later, I think. One thing that's a little bit more difficult about Vice City is the roads are quite a bit more messed up. We interrupt your programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, I'm which eating. has devastated five Caribbean Sorry. islands in his head. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, I have to change my run button again. <clears throat> I love that cassette tape. It's just so funny. Okay. Whoa. I lost my mouse look as well. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look who's got the dope and the cash. I guess it's not dope, it's crack. Tommy! Cocaine. Tommy, whatever. it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? 
So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back. And the drugs. And I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you. Neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. See, the reason I didn't get it is because Sonny Ferrelli, he, uh... When you, sh when you see him, he's acting actually upset. I don't know if that's just how he makes himself a convinc- There we go. That's a little better. Um, he has the drugs, he knows, he set it up. And then I'm pretty sure there's, you know, making it obvious enough for you to see that he set it up. But then why do they make him freak out like, uh, like he's actually upset? That's what was confusing to me. Anyway. <laughs> Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down. Relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine. And then, we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea! Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh! There's this retired colonel. Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen. He's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. I don't know, I, I like Tommy's uh, standard outfits. Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Ah! Okay, why? Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Wow. <laughs> And roll is dead and pop is in. Why not discover the Oh yeah, I forgot. I had to turn off the uh, the radio, otherwise I'll get uh, takedown requests. There we go. I don't understand why, but I'll just take the bite, I guess. Bike. No, my bike! <laughs> oh, it's so hard to drive! I lost two health. Yeah, so sorry I'm eating food. It always seems to happen. I just make food. I do most of my uh, videos on Saturday. I uh, work out in the morning and then uh, play video games for the rest of the day. And that's pretty much how it goes. Um, last night I made a delicious uh, New York style pizza and on it I put chicken, uh, artichoke, and uh, what the hell is that stuff called? Pancetta. There we go. Hello. 
Tommy, you fox. Buenas noches. Uh, oh, I dog. understand Whatever. you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of <laughs> agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my Hello, assistant? hello. Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our congressman, Alex Shrub, with rising silicone star, Candy Sun. Have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognize? Well, now, I'm looking at some prime. The guy on the left. That poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent. Lead singer with we'll run it yeah, Can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? It's silence. Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio. That sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fish Steve all Scott. All the throws of passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Now, you never You'll get to meet all like these that. guys. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, well, then another amigo. How do we find you? <clears throat> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. Hop in. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in <laughs> your lap? <laughs> ah, Maybe. I love it. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. Uh. See you around, oh, handsome. Thank you. I'm sure you will. Look at that hip swaggle. <laughs> Alright, so I th I don't know how I'm going to break up these missions. I guess... Oh. oh, I keep forgetting I have to turn off the music. Um, oh, jeez. Paying attention to too many things. Um, I guess I'll try to f pack in all the Ken Rosenberg missions. Well, not all, obviously. There's a bunch of them. If I recall correctly. No way. Uh, or I'll just play until I get bored and then, you know. <laughs> ah, well I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. One thing I like about this game is that uh, 
when the hood gets damaged, your car, excuse me, um, it flies off. It's like, that's nice. It's not blocking half your screen. Oh dear. Run. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I am? Looking for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort of you know, he rem I mean, reminds I'll you, me of... Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry If you watch Frasier... You're lost, honey. Daphne's brother, Simon... Wait, 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 wait. It's almost... It's Kent Paul? Identical. A friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. <laughs> Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. But he's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Uh... Don't try to be a hero, pal. Pardon me, officer. <laughs> I love that there are people just walking around in speedos around here. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. You're gonna get a beating. <laughs> oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. This way! Right shift button to sprint. That's terrible. It should be left. My keyboard can't handle that. My hand span. Yeah. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shop is a couple of blocks away. Alright, before next part I gotta remember to turn the music volume all the way down. Look at all those guns. Hurry up. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me smacking my keyboard. Go! <laughs> there we go. See what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Hmm. 
Okay. I suppose I'll keep going. Ow! Right shift. There we go. <laughs> I gotta fix that. <laughs> Get out of my face! Ugh, oh, I love this music too. It's like, I wanna listen to it. The music is what makes this game, maybe. Um, not entirely, I mean, it's still funny without the music, but... You know, when MJ's singing, and it's like... Yeah. Groovin'. And again, I'm a product of the 80s, so that might explain it to a certain extent. <laughs> Hello. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. <laughs> Screw you, man. <laughs> oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new <laughs> pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? What the... <laughs> He's late for his golf game. Dumb Florida moron. Mm. Don't know the first thing about the legality of marrying within the family. I should have gone to the other one first. It goes closer. This is one of the things I like about this game. <laughs> it just has more character. I can take a hammer to the guy's car. Keep hitting it. Take, smash that window too. Smash the back. Well, excuse me. <laughs> I, I can't believe this is happening. Not guilty. Understand? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Can I now steal his car? Trying. Okay. <laughs> so if you move in time and you feel Don't hit me, weep.
and I'm like, whatever. What the? Oh. Remember Giorgio? Remember he's innocent? <laughs> Very confusing the, uh, me. wheel is looking out there. I forgot about the uh, flat tires in this game. How do you get this number? How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We well, ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do it She's creepy face. looking. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Look at that. Oh. oh. <laughs> Goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later. Tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any grease balls giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Ridiculous. Oh, jeez, cop almost did himself in. Fighting with at least four workers to get a riot started. <laughs> Ow! I'm pretty sure. I, yeah, I have a gun. Oh, 
stop fighting me. Uh. Um, oh, I know what I can do. Get in. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, get. <kidding. laughs> Just need to get close to the barrel. What the? Oh. You. This knife killed ah! <laughs> Look at all these guys waiting in line to fight me. Excuse me. I just need to get out. <laughs> what the f oh. <laughs> Run. Oh no. I tabbed out. <laughs> Resume. I only have 15 health left. Get away from me. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, BRB. Okay. I... Oh, well, that was it. I was going to start this mission again, but then my phone started ringing. I didn't want to rob you of that, but it's nothing. I'll get back there. Alright, I'm back. I'll uh, punch only four this time, because I think that was my mistake. Oh, that hurt me. Just gotta run him over. Yay. Get out of my way, Kappa. Okay, well, um, I think that's it for right now. I'm sure I'll have more Rosenberg missions later, but I'll split that into a another part. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know how excited you are to be watching uh, GTA Vice City, because I know I'm excited to be playing it. Hells yeah! Catch you guys later. Oh. One yeah. more thing. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. Totally. I, I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat stand. Okay? Good day, senor. <laughs> All right. I can work for Cortez now, too. Check out my room. Street clothes, please. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe. I forgot to say that before. Can you believe it? Jump! Jump! Okay, now save. Go to the cassette tape. <laughs> Alright, catch you next time.